Have you ever learned anything on YouTube? I have. Your students have. You probably have too. Most of us have because there's so much great educational stuff out there on YouTube. Problem is, there's a lot of stuff to sort through to find that good stuff. I'm Patrick Green, author of 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom, and I'd like to show you how to search for find the good stuff, filter out the bad stuff, and get down to what you and your students really need for learning. Let's dive in. All right, so I've opened up a incognito window so that Google's not using my previous search terms and things, and I'm just gonna run over to YouTube. And this is actually a way to see a lot of the non-educational stuff because they don't know exactly what to feed uh, me as far as videos go, so it's not using any of my prior searches. Anyway, I'm going to go up to the, the search term bar here, and let's say I wanted, I was teaching U.S. history, eighth grade, I'm, I'm going to teach the Civil War, and I search for Civil War, and actually the, this search did a pretty good job, but let's say it showed up with a, a bunch of like Guns N' Roses stuff, because you know they have a, a song called Civil War, or Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff. Uh, it's actually done a pretty good job of knowing. But if it did have Marvel, I could say minus Marvel uh, and, and use some Boolean search terms to really zero in on, on what I'm searching for, right? And then this, or, or if you don't need to reduce something and, and use a minus, you could like Civil War and food, okay. And, and really get in, here's some hard tack and stew and all sorts of stuff. So just using the search bar is something you probably know how to do but i wanted to show you these filters right here so as a teacher these filters are super powerful to show filters i'm actually going to get out of food and just go back to searching for the civil war okay and then i'm going to click on filters and channel and playlist are my two favorite teacher filters and i'll click on channel to show you what that does that brings up content producers, groups of folks, individuals or uh, corporations that create content. So we've actually got a place called the American Civil War Museum, the Civil War Institute at Gettysburg. So if I click on any of these, I'm not getting a video, I'm getting, in this instance, 227 videos or 111 videos. So let's just go see if we click on the American Civil War. Uh, museum, you can see that they've got a, a nicely organized YouTube channel here. If I click on videos, I can see all the different videos that they're producing. And it looks like they've got some symposiums and uh, interviews and some other things here. But if I liked some of the videos in this channel, I could hit subscribe and that's going to start putting more of their content in front of me. In fact, every time that they make a new video, if I've subscribed, it's going to kind of pop up on my main YouTube channel page here and start filling in some of this stuff uh, because YouTube's learning more about what I like. And that's what subscribing can do. You can tell YouTube what you want to see more of. So let's hop in there again. Let's do the Civil War search. And then I went to filters and I went to channel. And that's, and I might want to explore a number of these and find out, you know, who's producing the best stuff on this topic. It's not just Civil War. You could be uh, algebra for you math teachers out there and, and find out who's a channel, a, a, a content producer who's making a bunch of videos about algebra. Okay, but uh, I want to go back and I want to show you using the playlist. So a playlist is a group of videos. Well, who put the playlist together? Well, you or me or another teacher or the teacher down the hallway that teaches the same subject as me. So if I'm looking for Civil War and I click on Playlist, I find, you can see these are groups, so as I hover over them, this one's uh, 10 videos, this one has 10 videos, this is seven videos called the Ultimate Civil War series, this has Ken's Burn Civil War 13 videos. I'm actually gonna click on this and see how this one's organized. And I'm gonna stop the playhead there. You can see a playlist loads a little bit differently in YouTube and it shows you all of these different videos that are in the playlist. So I could click through them here and I could shuffle them using the shuffle playlist. We'll, we'll talk more about playlists later. The point that I'm trying to make here is if someone's taken a number of videos and put them into a group, put them into a playlist, if I see that it's pretty well done, 
I've just saved myself as a teacher a ton of time. This person, you know, if you find a playlist that says top 10 uh, beginning algebra videos, okay. Now you don't have to search for the top 10 because someone else already made it. And if you look at it and you're like, yeah, this is pretty good. Well, your work is done. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how to use the search bar and then use the filter button to filter to find the good stuff. Filter by playlist to find a group of videos that someone else has already put together for you and search by channel to find content producers that are putting out good stuff in, in the area that you're teaching. And then you will save time filtering out all of the garbage that's out there on YouTube because there is some really good stuff and these are my favorite ways to find that good stuff. Now, I hope you found these tips helpful and if you did, you should subscribe to my channel. Why? Because you'd be telling YouTube that you want more of my content and if you're wanting to learn more about YouTube as a teacher, you do want more of my content. The other way you can tell YouTube that is to give it a like, give the video a like, hit that thumbs up button. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in our next video.